hello welcome back in today's video i'm going to use the uh, esp32 to turn on and off an led through wi-fi using blink iot so i need uh, this 200 ohm resistor okay and uh, i'm going to put that in here um okay oh, on this side of the breadboard and uh, that's my led that's the uh, the uh, anode and, and that's the uh, cathode okay the uh, anode is connected to the side of the uh, the 200 ohm resistor that cable is going um, to um, to ground and uh, this side I'm going to attach um, to um, negative pin of the uh, the uh, LED now I'm going to use the um, the pin D2 D2 okay guys keep that in mind pin D2 okay and uh, I'm going to attach pin D2 to this side of the um, to my 200 ohm resistor okay guys now the cable an android cable okay uh samsung samsung cable to upload uh, the program to um, our board we need to create a blink cloud count okay guys um you go to google and uh, you uh, click on start free give your email address okay you gotta confirm your email address so go to the um to gmail okay to confirm it okay so you click here welcome to blink console i think okay and uh, you uh, click on create a password okay a few seconds and now you uh, create a password okay um, a strong password so click next then you give a name to your account okay um, um, my name is itamar and uh, congrats you just created your account okay blink blink cloud account now now i'm going to create a template okay its name is going to be switch on and off nled the hardware is going to be esp32 and uh, the connection the connection type is wi-fi the the description is optional now we've just created the template now go to data streams new data stream and uh, choose virtual pin okay uh, its name is going to be led uh, the pin is v0 okay uh, zero on uh, zero off one uh, on okay we can give it uh give it with um a color and click create now go to go to web dashboard okay you drag you drag the switch onto the middle i, I, I don't know and uh, we configure the switch okay we pick we give a name to the switch push button and we pick the um, 
the data stream that uh, we've just created okay uh led v0 okay uh so we save it okay and uh, we save it again here uh okay um it's okay that's our push button okay now if you want to uh that's the uh, mobile dashboard you you have to download the uh, the blink app on your mobile okay to configure the switch okay um, so go to search and uh, new device click on new device and uh, you you're gonna add the device that uh, you've just created okay and uh, it, its name is going to be um, is a switch on and off an led so pick switch on and off an led okay that's the uh, the device okay guys you pick that and click on create okay uh, we've just created the the a new device okay that's our push button we're gonna need um, uh, this uh, code okay uh, the um, token okay the uh, authentication code okay and uh, we, uh, we, we we're gonna put that in our program now go to your mo mobile phone and um download the uh, blink app okay blink iot okay after the download you log in into your account uh, by giving your email address and your password that uh, you've just created okay guys and uh, you click on login and uh, your project is already there okay uh, switch on and off any lead now click on your project okay you gotta create a mobile user interface for your device now you go here and here and click on here okay like that um, we quit we quit that and a plus and uh, you add the uh, pick the button okay choose the button and you you drag the, you drag that on to i don't know center and i um after that you click on this okay to configure it okay now pick your uh, virtual pin, pin okay is a, a, a led um, v0 okay guys i think it's okay now you can uh, uh, you you pass from push to switch because you're gonna use a switch you you can if pick um give a title okay to this push button to the button okay i choose switch when is off is off when is on is on okay and uh, we can change the uh, the size of the uh, of the um this stuff okay guys uh, we can if even choose uh, a color for for our uh, push button for our switch okay I think everything is set up now you you, you can see our uh, switch here okay it's okay now th the blink mobile app is set up we needed to go ahead and uh, set up esp32 with arduino id go to file preferences go okay file preferences and cap this link that i'm going to put on the video description and paste it here click ok click ok now you are able to download the esp32 
32 library go to boards manager and uh, look for esp32 and install it okay wait few minutes okay it okay now you are able to see here the uh, esp32 library I, I mean board okay now uh, here here i'm using esp32 so esp32 doesn't have pin uh i mean uh, v0 pin okay so we need to change that to v2 okay uh now we uh, we're going to cap uh um the uh, this information and put that on our program okay the uh, authentication again okay? like that so so that's uh, our program okay guys um we need uh, uh the stuff okay blink uh library wi-fi library and uh, uh these informations okay you know you need to put that um uh you can see here the uh, blink blink authentication token okay uh, you cap that and paste it on um in here okay auth okay auth variable okay that's a um uh, um i mean yeah here you put that here so you need your uh we need your uh, uh wi-fi name and the the password of your wi-fi okay for uh, for me this is my password okay uh the password of my wi-fi okay guys so that's the uh, blink right okay that um uh, it helps us to um turn on and off our led okay through wi-fi okay so in void this setup function uh we say that uh, the uh, the virtual pin v2 okay is an output and the the blink uh begin function has the um the uh, authentication our wi-fi password okay and uh, the uh, the name of our wi-fi okay the void loop is going to um is to be executed forever so now you uh, we can send our program to our board okay esp32 uh, uh dev module the port is con3 okay guys now we can upload our program and you press uh, the button boot uh, while you you send the program to our microcontroller okay uh, we're going to switch on and off this led using our phone okay so it's off on the led turns on off the led turns off thank you guys